And now, <laughs> round three. Fine. We're about to go into round three. Uh, we're gonna start with Aaron, man. We're starting with you? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so, uh, right, so uh, first I'm gonna give this up. Uh, number three is best live action superhero series. Okay, that could have been past or present. So best live action superhero series. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Well, We're all present. Yeah, everybody picked the present one, but the original question was past or present if you ended up picking some past ones. Yeah, so uh, best, so this is live action. So no, no cartoons. We already know this. Starting with you, Aaron. I picked CW's The Flash. All right. Ooh. Okay. I think. No, no. We're uh, 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 um, I picked uh, Marvel and Netflix's uh, Jessica Jones. She's right. Supergirl. Okay. I forget what time it was on. CBS. Yeah, yeah, CBS. Go watch it. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, we're starting now. Well, first off, your, your show, Supergirl, I've seen every episode of it so far. And it's done a good job of doing with the Flash and Arrow can't necessarily do right off the bat. I mean, fail. Um, yeah, both fail, and what it does is it introduces a bunch of characters at one time, like how they just, uh, in the beginning, they had the whole Cyber Superman thing, then they surprise you with the Martian Manhunter. It's smart, but it's not the best tactic, because they're just throwing characters at you, and I feel like they're doing that just to establish the characters. So when I come to a place like this, and people say, have you seen Supergirl? Is it good? I'm like, they have Martian Manhunter on the show, and they're going to want to watch it. Now, with uh, The Flash, the thing I like too. about it is... It, it did what Arrow couldn't, and it brought up the CW's ratings. It had the highest ratings since 10 years ago, which is when Smallville first started. And because when Arrow first started, they had small references to other characters like that. A small reference to Star Wars and Black Lightning and uh, uh, like Blue Devil and stuff like that. Now, in this season, and even the last season, they started introducing characters like Katana, Black Canary, and then we have Adam, and a bunch of these uh, characters. Mr. Terrific, he's not in costume yet, but we have Mr. Terrific, the character. Now, what The Flash is doing, The Flash is... Kind of like Arrow, but they're more steady, and they have a great storyline. They have a even added a little mystery because even if you read the comics, you'd still be surprised by what's going on in the TV show. And it's practically a, a sixty percent clear adaptation, which I kind of like. And on top of that, the characters that they established—they have about seven speeches on the show. They've had the Adam on the show also, and um, a couple characters got, that it got introduced on the spinoff show Legend of Tomorrow. And they introduced uh, storylines that could possibly happen already, such as Infinite Crisis with this whole parallel universe uh, thing, and the whole Flashpoint thing with, time, with Flashpoint, which I have the book right here. And I don't think that Supergirl could even survive without this upcoming crossover without Flash, because the ratings are incredibly low. And Jessica Jones is only surviving off of, well, Jessica Jones' show is pretty good itself. But at certain points, like in the first episode, they're going incredibly slow. And then in the middle episodes, they're kind of just rushing things. Or they just throw it at you. And there's some episodes uh, where nothing happens. Like, okay. There's little to nothing that happens. And I feel like uh, some of the few success that it's writing off of is the general audience who watched Daredevil. Because I saw Daredevil, and it was like, this is a Netflix show, and it's by Marvel. I'm going to watch this other Netflix show by Marvel. Ever so slightly wrong. So I, so I would say, like, Ooh. your your contention with um, Supergirl is that it's, it's not doing as well. And, you know... Yeah. Um, my thing, my thing with Supergirl, the reason why I think it's the best live action TV show isn't necessarily because it's doing everything the best or because it's having the best ratings, but because it is, it's a TV show that doesn't try to conform. So when, when you see Supergirl, you're seeing flying, you're seeing capes, you're seeing aliens, you're seeing all like lasers and all this different things. And you know, it's a comic book TV show. With Flash and Jessica Jones, I feel like it's more, it's more like they're taking the comic and they're trying to see how they could turn it into a TV drama. So Supergirl, they're not trying to pander as hard as Flash and Jessica Jones did, which is why they have the massive fan appeal that they do, is because it um, appeals to the general audience, which makes it, as some might say, less of a comic book TV show. Because it has, that, it has Hold less on. I got of the All comic right. book <laughs> aspect to it. Supergirl maintains that. Supergirl is... DC cookie cutter television. Um, it's really, it's the one thing I would, because I, I think that The Flash is the best DC show on television. Um, but all three of them have the same kind of idea. You take a character, a hero, that predominantly works by themselves in the comics or with one or two people, um, and you flesh out, you give them an, uh, like, a, like a lab team, um, in the case of Flash, which I feel works for the character. Um, and Supergirl doesn't really need it. My problem with Supergirl is that as a character, they're they're pulling in a lot of things um, to kind of follow in the steps of Flash and Arrow, 
when Supergirl isn't one of those characters. Now, Jessica Jones, I have a problem with you calling it a drama. No. Um, Wait, me? Or no, him. Oh, okay. um, Jessica too. Jones is a perfect noir. Um, it, Noirs are more drama. It, it's dramatic. more... It, it no, is I, dramatic, but I would call not, it a mystery yeah. beforehand. And the thing that I think that it does better than both of those shows is um, it has a villain that you're legitimately scared of. Um, I will say, like, both shows have good villains, um, but... Like, Flash's big villains are Zoom, who's only going after Barry Allen, and kind of the people around him, and Reverse Flash for season one, who's going after the villains around him. In Supergirl, you have the same thing where, like, if you're not related to them, you're okay. Um, and while Purple Man, Kilgrave, you know, is only going after Jessica, he's going after Jessica by going after Total Strange. Like, he's not only going after her. Um, he He's... I would not be afraid if Zoom ran past me if I were living in Central City because I'm like I'm not the Flash I'm okay. Kilgrave walking down the street would it wouldn't terrify me initially because he's one of those kind of more reserved characters. But the second that like afterwards after he's passed me and I've done whatever it is he's told me to do, I'd be terrified. Like there's support groups in Jessica Jones to deal with her villain. Um, the only people that are really impacted by the villain of your series are the main character and their supporting cast. Or random passerby that we don't care about and never get seen again. Random truck drivers, policemen walking down the street who aren't, you know, the foster family for Barry Allen. Um, but also, like, you're, you're saying that our shows appeal to a wider audience. And I would say that Jessica Jones, being a noir, doesn't. Um, it's the thing that I feel that Marvel has done right in regards to their live action. They don't try to be a superhero show, which I feel that both of your shows are trying and Supergirl's failing at and The Flash is admittedly succeeding at. Um, Jessica Jones is taking superheroes, using them as the catalyst to push forward other genres that otherwise wouldn't you know, see the light of day in, then, in this case, like, yeah. the Maltese Falcon I would put on par not on par with Jessica Jones, because Humphrey Bogart's Humphrey Bogart, but um, Je Jessica Jones, I feel is the stronger show it's a better series it's getting a season 2 um, and while The Flash is on season 2 and getting a season 3 um, you were saying that they just kind of introduced characters in Supergirl Flash's villains appear once and then they're done, with the exception of the rogues. The the specific Weather Wizard, Captain Cold, and Heatwave. Um, Turtle, who I think is a great character. A great character. Eh, character is stronger, but a, as adversary, mm -hmm. he's in one episode and then killed off. Okay, so uh, Gurner has been wait, killed off. Wait, I just. Wait, wait, wait. Well, yeah, I'm going to be real quick, so. Because yeah. I want your time. Um, I don't feel like Jessica Jones is much of a superhero show. Though. Because, like you said, it's a mystery show. And um, basically what they're doing is, like, uh, uh, how, how can I explain this? It's kind of like uh, the Superman and Batman line back in 2006 or four, where they're taking superheroes and they're having them solve mysteries. It's not necessarily a superhero show. And but that's what Jessica Jones is. Like, yeah, so I will... Like, I'll, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm actually going to... I want to just... And then, um, she with, saves the day. I just want to build out his point a bit, though. Um, when he's saying that, that that Jessica Jones, you know, is, is less of a superhero show, he said it, I would say it, and you admitted it, is that they're taking these characters and they're turning it into something else. So they're taking, say, like, Kilgrave or whoever you said, and they're making it more of a horror or more of a drama or a noir or whatever you said. But at the end of the day, what you're saying is, and what, what you're admitting is that it's a noir, not a comic book show. I would say Supergirl is a comic book show because it throws all these characters at you, which is exactly what comic books do unapologetically. In comic books, you do get background for your characters. Um, they don't throw they throw characters at you, but they throw characters because of the release schedule of comics over the course of you probably dealing with the same villain for about six months. Yeah, you're not dealing with the same villain, and and that story might take place over the course of a couple of days. Uh, the characters on the show pretty much get wrapped up and done in. I mean, the hour of the show, yes, but within the the span of time on the show, about a day and a half. Kilgrave runs around for weeks. He's a better villain. He he is a straight up comic book villain. Like 
the show on a, the, but the thing that made Jessica Jones don't, don't, but didn't you just say that comic books don't do that <laughs> that they don't have them running around for days they get wrapped up in about a couple days or maybe three days which is what you said Supergirl does no 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 no, no, no. Uh, You're admitting such that it's Zoom. less of a comic book show and more of a noir or a horror. Uh, well, in the last but that 30 makes seconds, it a better television <laughs> series. You can, you can be, special you can be you two say comic that. books. A, right. a missile hit a truck at the side and it flew up. Okay, but that's uh, just, that's uh, just yeah, dopey so, action. No, that's just dopey action. That, that, that's just dopey action. It's, it's TV. It's you can, you can, yes. TV, you no, can't no, 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 But that's exactly Supergirl, it's Supergirl, TV. Wait, Supergirl, you no, know, you no, know, no, know no, the two years of Supergirl are passionate because they, they show you so much at one time. Mm. Whereas with Flash, you're a lot slower with it. And again, the special effects, they're showing that they really don't care as much. Anyway, I just want to say this in the last couple seconds. I feel like the Flash gets general audience members much more than both your TV shows because I have a Flash and belt and belt buckle and people rather talk to themselves about it than me at school and also the fact that you're out of time uh, <laughs> all right i said what I wow say. all right that was I something didn't get this. you know what no. what's what's what i will say with this one this one is probably the one i the first time i've ever wanted to argue <laughs> as well like really <laughs> jump in with my own this was like this was a true test of my unbiasedness because i was like wow this was uh, something so good job good round guys Ooh, wow. Okay. Uh to the notes. Okay. Um yeah, I think Okay, I'm I'm a little stuck. I'm going to tell you guys where I'm stuck. But I will say that uh if coming close to the end, you guys actually kind of took a point to uh double team you. Yeah. With your, we had to. With yeah. your cuz I mean in the end, yeah, it was uh you know, even in your description of it, it it's I I'll, yeah. I'll can <laughs> but a it's super, less it's of a, a comic book it's, show. It's, it's less of a comic book show, but it is yeah. not less of a superhero series. Oh, we're arguing. The thing is, well, no, we're, we're, we're arguing superhero, superhero series. Superhero series. Yeah. But I think, well, I actually would say that it's more of a comic book show than a superhero series because of the fact that, like, what you one of the points you said was that's what Jessica Jones is. So it's a good portrayal, I think, of that character. And I, I'm gonna be honest with you, Kilgrave gives me the heebie-jeebies. Like that, that is you. When he licks her face in the first episode, yeah. I stopped watching it for about a week. <laughs> that, is, that is that yeah. is without a doubt the best villain. It's terrifying. That is without a doubt the best villain. Because he's not actually there licking her face; it's just PTSD. Um, and and it deals with such like dark. I mean, it's definitely more. I definitely of a, should have mentioned that. Yeah, we're it's really yeah. intense. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that, that, goes, that goes so much more to the point of how it's like this really like you you said you said uh, perfect noir. And I think that that is really a great way to describe it because it, 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 when you watch it in that element, you almost forget that it's even... Uh, but, I mean, that's beside the point. Coming into uh, The Flash, you mentioned about the high ratings, uh, multiple speedsters. Uh, one thing that I, uh, you mentioned, too, in gearing up for it, but it was almost like a... Uh, it was it was almost like it, it kind of worked in kind of counteracting one of the points that you had shot at Supergirl yeah, where mm -hmm. you said that it won't really survive without the upcoming uh, tie-in yeah, right. which uh, you mentioned you brought up the point that you know obviously the Flash and Arrow have their very close-knit relationship mm -hmm. so uh, you know bringing that into the case I mean I, I'm not going to use that as something I get considering that's something that Flash has been using from the jump I'm not going to say that that's going to be what gave it its popularity so I'm not mm -hmm. going to say that that's going to be something that would affect Supergirl and its ratings um, and I'm going to tell you why I end up being stuck. <laughs> because one of the things is you, you mentioned the uh, introduction of the characters. Both shows do that uh, to a great degree. And it's almost interesting. I think you were the one who was knocking it down where it's really coming down to... Uh, I, I'm not sure who mentioned this point. I have it written down. But uh, <laughs> the shows kind of have... I guess the just it's very uh, the format of the villain rotations and the fact that it's like... Uh, no, it was you who mentioned about the dramas, about the drama show, about basically like how they have all these issues where Supergirl is a, it's a superhero show first and foremost. It's pure. It's like, and, no. the, oh, it's, I, I'm not going to say it's pure, that wasn't your original but argument. The argument. But yeah, the, <laughs> what the argument is, is that it's a superhero show first and foremost, and you mentioned that that's cookie cutter. But um, the way that ties in, uh, how you were kind of knocking them down, because I have it, like I told you guys from before, I have my plus and minus system. Mm -hmm. uh, the dramas that are The Flash, I mean, obviously The Flash is not as dramatic as... Uh, Supergirl? Uh, no, not Supergirl. No, it's Jessica, Jessica Jones. Jones. Jessica Jones, but Jessica Jones being a perfect noir, so that shot of it being more of a drama that is established in a superhero or a comic book motif, I think actually did uh, hit The Flash a bit. So I'm, I'm stuck between the two. I'm, it's between the two, Flash and Supergirl here. So... Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, you give me an extra 30 seconds? Uh, no, I'm not going to give you an extra 30 <laughs> seconds. I think everybody had an adequate amount of time. But, well, I got a lot from each person because I have a good amount of Choose notes. Choose profit. Um, <laughs> Let's just go with the show with the highest rate. Profit. All right. <laughs> we'll get canceled in a year. <laughs> Supergirl. Mean, Girl. I have that down. I have that down. But then Supergirl I have... Supergirl will limp for season two. Yeah. yeah. I don't see going past season If it doesn't, come back to you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but who knows? It'll limp along. Uh, you know what? Oh. This is... Go with the actual superhero show. Oh, okay. Flash and oh, White. No. Can I? Can I? It's a, it's, it's a half a drama. I want to. I, I, can I just say one thing? Yeah, yeah, well, you make yours decision. is a full yeah. drama and yours is a half a drama. But that's oh, a Hold on. Well, no, no. I have one thing to say. You just uh. break apart that whole point. Um, Kara, Jimmy Olsen, and, uh, Adam. what? Adam? Adam West? No, 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 no. Well, yeah, but no. Uh, what's <laughs> her name? Uh, Lois's sister. Why can't I remember her first name? It, it was something with L. It's a Lana? Lana? It was like Lucy, right? It, Lucy Lane, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they, it does the same stupid drama crap that his show does. Yeah. To be fair, I've only seen one episode. <laughs> You've only seen I one episode of the show you're arguing? Listen, that's beside the that's point. That's amazing. The <laughs> arguments are done. The arguments have been made. I love that. So on and so forth. And I tell you, like I said before, this is the truest test of my life. Flip a coin! Give me a I point. can't do that. I can't do that. Honestly. I will put a curse on you. Flip a coin! Okay, these are, these are in no way like in the, making it happen, but <laughs> son of a gun. I, I think I'm going to give it to Supergirl. Son oh, of a bitch. No. And, okay, and I, I'll explain why, what my logic is here. Oh, and the reason why I have a bad taste in my mouth is because I honestly do not like Supergirl. <laughs> I don't like it so why much. Why do you think I one episode? <laughs> I, I, I don't know that I don't like anything that much. Like, I just don't, I don't like it. Um, I saw the first episode, and I actually made it a point to watch a couple other episodes, but the first episode... I, the I first episode up. is bad. It's I like the terrible. action scene. Uh, I'm a fan of Supergirl from what I've seen. Like my my Bruce Tim Supergirl is actually my favorite form of Supergirl, and I think that that's everyone's like a, favorite form of any character. It's is always Bruce, Bruce Tim, Tim, right? Yeah. So Bruce Tim is the true. But I mean that aside, three and Who and really the sad part two, the worst part two, and this is like this is the defining by unbiased nature. Flash is my favorite show on television, and while you made some good points for it, you made like in the end the way that you guys were all coming together. It's I think how the entire argument went. Where it was going against, uh, even going up against Jessica Jones, because I was actually on the side of Jessica Jones. I really enjoyed watching that show as well. Um, but I was taking into consideration all of your points, and uh, it, the action sequences of Flash had nothing to do it. Because none of these have a, like you said, none of these have a Batman v Superman yeah, budget. True. But in the end, uh, the action scenes in my show Flash yeah. should be. Because no, they don't yeah. require Flash superpowers. Flash should. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's and only it's the second season. season. No, it's but, only the second yeah, season. It's I don't the want to. They do better as long as they don't show Barry close up right. But, but they, they do sometimes. I know. <laughs> I, but in the interest of time, we're going we're gonna to go back into the next one. But I think I think semantics won in this one where it really came down to everyone was talking about, you know, superhero show. And I think in the defining factor of what a superhero show ends up being, so at Supergirl least, ends up being at that At the very thing. least, I take a role. <laughs> so jo- you get a point. Josh gets the point. I don't know. You're, I, I don't get the full skeleton, but I get a rip. I understand your euphemisms. All right. Oh wait, no, I actually got that one. Okay.